The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. A lot of trash talk. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Both men step back for just a moment. Well, we all know, when Wilder fights Fury, someone is getting knocked down, and probably both guys. Oh my gosh, come on, this is that fight. No matter what you think of Tyson Fury, he has got in there with the biggest, most powerful, most dangerous fighter, puncher in the world, in Darren Tawala. This guy can knock you out from two inches. He's got it, but Tyson Fury is smart, like a, a complete warmonger. Got in his head well before they stepped to the ring. This is fight number four. Every fight is getting more exciting than the other. And every time Tyson Fury has had his number, Deontay Wilder is an angry, powerful, dangerous fighter. He always will be. But the only one that's got his number, Tyson Fury. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. Exchange here from both men. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Here we go for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Defending themselves. After so much pre hype fight and social media drama, I can't believe we're actually in the midst of them fighting. Situations like this target will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. We're at the halfway point of this round and both of these fighters have had their moments still could go either way. These power punches are bruising up his body. a high-octane battle. And he misses with that jab. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. You know, you've been in fights like that. When you think you come up by ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun.
There's the bell to start round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough rush round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Slugger, as you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. They've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. So far, both of these fighters have had their moments. Watch that jab. He didn't take that jab well at all. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Looks absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? Here we go in round four. He's going to land the first big shot. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Good left counter that lands. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. so far as we've reached the halfway point. This fight has a real good flow to it. Oh, and they just got the bell rung. That's a scoring left hand. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. <laughs> it 
it's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. If you're in there with a guy so big in front of you, you've got to be smart. You've got to use your smarts and use that skill. This is what you've prepared for. You've got to negate that jab, let it ride past you and push his own weight on him. Missed him with that uppercut. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. Both men step back for just a moment. We're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. Because they're so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And a cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it up the fact because that's where they're comfortable, or you take care of the whole thing. It's been a back and forth contest so far, no doubt about it. And this is with that jam. scores. The courage on display here is incredible. And this is that jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. this guy every second every minute of this fight round seven here we go safe to say that last round was a nightmare let's see if we can turn it around here this is one of those situations you've just been hurt you've got to get out there again be smart be sharp don't be a fool don't get sucked in make him fight your fight hold him tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again because if you don't he's gonna pop you off
you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Man. Both men step back for just a moment. Been a back and forth contest so far, no doubt about it. He takes that jab. We'd like to see more jabs. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. the advantage so far but how does this match get turned around as long as they don't get complacent you think this is too easy if they keep this same kind of pace up they've got this fight Draws first blood type. That's what you've got to look at. If you block and you know him there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. This has been a very competitive round between these two. There's the bell for round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. 
having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. Both men step back for just a moment. man really defending themselves. Yeah. It's been a back and forth contest so far, no doubt about it. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. This is the 10th. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. That left lands. power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Todd, oh, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. point of this round and both of these fighters have had their moments still could go either way left shot lands you don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight Over. He's got 
someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? Both men step back for just a moment. Pretty close fight here in this round. Swing and a miss. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. No doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. Here's the bell for round 12. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. I'm going to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. certain fighters that can depend on just their power loans. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the problem comes from. You have to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments. This exchange here from both men. watching it myself and you know what i happy it's a draw because nobody deserves to lose and nobody deserves to win these guys put it on the line 